This is Sadie. Sadie's our three-year-old Cheepom. She wants to be a movie star, so I told her I would introduce her in our videos. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you're going to get up there and sit pretty. You're going to sit pretty. You're going to sit pretty. Sadie can't talk yet. She tries to talk once in a while, but she can't talk yet. So that's Sadie. I want to go out here and show you guys something. By the way, if you can't hear the excitement in my voice, we're excited to be pulling out of here and uh, real, real quick. But I was watching a video the other day on RV Dave's channel and he was getting a little frustrated with not being able to get propane when they uh, advertise propane fills. This is what we did. I got frustrated the first time that we pulled in to get propane at a Love's. So I came home and I ordered this. It's called an extended stay. I put the extended stay on there. And once you put that on there, you just shut your onboard off, which our onboard, onboard is full, but it's just going to be for emergencies and traveling purposes. And then I just, we carry two 20 pounders. And then right now my furnace is in there running off this 20 pounder. Now if I wanted to, I could drill a hole in there and just run that hose right through and keep my 20, I do, I do store my uh, 120 pounder in here. It sets right here. And then I have another 20 pounder I store there's our solar panels. I have another 20 pounder I store in the Jeep. But that's what I did to get away from having to pull in, depend on uh, a registered qualified technician to come out and fill my tank. I can just pull in and exchange these now. I have two of them. And you might get somewhere where you can't get our uh, propane. They're, they're saying propane might be hard to get this winter, I don't know. You know how scaremongers are, they just love to scare us, so. Uh, may or may not be true. That's the furnace running, and we do like that aspect of drifter that you can barely hear the furnace. I don't know what's gonna happen. But share a little bit of our itinerary. We're gonna be departing Ohio, and first uh, stop will probably be uh, Walmart in Kentucky and uh, we have uh, four days reserved at Clay Balls Campground in Tennessee just outside Pigeon Forge and then we leave there and make our way down through Tuscaloosa Alabama we have a beautiful campground site reserved down there a deer I believe it's called Deer Lick Creek uh, it's a Corps of Engineers campground $28 a night and you get water and electric. We're going to boondock probably 50% of our time while we're on this trip. That's why we got the solar and the extra batteries. We leave Alabama, we're going to head down to Mississippi, spend some time in Mississippi. We're going to depart Mississippi and head over uh, through Louisiana into Texas and spend some time in Texas and we're going to uh, leave Texas, of course, and head up to New Mexico, where I think we're going to spend quite a bit of time, maybe two weeks in, Mex in New Mexico, uh, before uh, ending up in uh, Arizona, the courtside area, for probably two to three months. And then we'll make our way, if we can get our passport in order, uh, we'll probably make our way over into Mexico, and then we'll uh, do a stop over in Blythe, California, for maybe a week. But like I say, we're excited. This is just a little update. We haven't put a video out for about a week, so I wanted to stay in touch. I want to show you something else too, if I may. We, uh, like I say, it was cold in here when I when I came in. Um, the rule of thumb is the RV usually stays about uh, 
8 to 10 degrees warmer than the outside with no heat. It was 49 in here when I came out. It was in the low 40s, about 41 um, outside. So some people asked me, we put in a video on this mattress. Uh, that's my camera gear there. Uh, we, we travel with a lot of stuff on our bed. But we did a review on this mattress when we got it. Uh, we've had the mattress, I guess, six, seven, eight months now. But I love it. I sleep in here all the time. I love this mattress. This is, uh, if you go back and you, I, I'll try to link a video to the uh, best RV mattress. Uh, but I love this mattress. And it's a good mattress. It's made in the USA. It was uh, under $600. And I think it will probably outlast me, to be honest with you. But I wanted to uh, do a little update. Some people's asked about the mattress. How's the mattress doing? How's the, how you like it? Uh, they want to consider buying one so I'm just telling you right now this is a good mattress and I will put a link to the mattress and the video but I can take my guitar um, hopefully maybe I can hook up with six string Steve while we're out there and he can give me some lessons on how to play guitar because I'm not very good at it but I do love sitting around tinkering with it and playing some tunes Here's our pantry, we gotta get stocked. We got plenty of room for uh, groceries. There's only gonna be two of us, so. And they do pull out to get two, which is nice. I think Connie's keeping all of her towels down here and bedding and toilet paper and all that. We do use, uh, I don't have the RV opened up right now. I've got the slides partially open, partially not. We do use, Scott's toilet paper, which is, um, I think, the, probably the best for RV use because it deteriorates really, really good. And, but we, uh, we're going to, we have another small trash can that we're uh, going to keep in here and it has a lid that closed. So a lot of our toilet paper don't even go in the, in the commode. So there's our, for our dirty clothes. But we do have a nice shower. We use it. No sense in having a nice shower and not using it. So what I say, we have a nice, uh, nice area, nice deep area to keep our stuff in. There's an area under here. And I'll tell you what else I'm going to do. You guys might think I'm nuts, but I'm taking, uh, when we get the courtside area, wherever we may be boondocking for seven days or so, I uh, have a little portable Wolf Wise uh, shelter privacy shelter that i'm going to set up and <clears throat> i've got my cat litter and my bucket and i'm not ashamed to say that i'm going to use it why put stuff in your black tank that you don't have to i'm a big believer that you do things the easy way the the quicker the black tank gets filled up, the quicker you got to go dump somewhere. So if I can use my portable privacy shelter outside and and let Connie use the, the bathroom, then that, that's good too. And she may use choose to use the portable shelter outside too. I don't know. That's up to her. But um, again, we got a portable shelter that sets up in no time. It's made by Wolfwise bucket with a toilet seat and um, there's no shame there and I'm going to use it. So again we're ready to go. I've got everything in here that I can think of except changing the oil and <clears throat> we're going to have an epic road trip. It's going to be a challenge. We've never did this before. Uh, setting up and tearing down camp uh, every four, five, six, seven days, sometimes 14 days. I don't know We'll just play it by ear, one day at a time. That's what I always say. Um, but the Lord is with us. Um, God has been good to us. He's protected us. And he's kept us well. And if you don't, if, if you get sick, that doesn't mean that God wanted you to get sick. But um, we could get sick tomorrow. 
and be gone in in months. We don't know, but uh, we do know that he's going to go with us and every step of the way, and he's going to go before us and he's going to make a way. But um, we just so appreciate our little community that we've begun here on YouTube. Camping with Endless Weekends. For those of you that follow us, um, I hope we get a lot more followers. Uh, spread the word. Like, subscribe, share our videos. Nothing to like, cost you nothing to subscribe. And we sure appreciate it if you would. But, uh, yeah, we're about ready to roll. Less than a week. Less than a week. We'll see you down the road. Bye-bye.